Hello friends, welcome to PC Mobile Technical Solution. Today I am gonna show you how to program or flash on this ESP8266 chip. This is a Wi-Fi module. Okay, and this has some GPIO pins. You can control anything with it. So I made this programmer this looks like a spider so i named it spider it has a push switch and some component and big legs to fit the esp8266 module okay now it's ready to go but we need a programmer i am using pl2303 ttl module and with the help of this I can connect like this with the PC. Okay, let's go to the computer screen and see how we program it. So here I'll open the Arduino IDE program, but before that you need to check the PL2303 module driver has already installed. So here is the COM port, it's 4 okay now open arduino IDE software opening the blink program and you need to set the board of this uh, arduino microcontroller which is esp 12e if you don't have it go to the file and preference and add it file extension then select the com port and after selecting the com port you need to select upload before upload the built-in led which is the blink program already in uh, written that you need to change with pin 2 its 2 pin is inbuilt led of esp8266 module it is showing underscore and dots but not uploading the code into the ESP8266 module because when you upload this code or any code on this module you need to pull down reset button and flash button together okay here is the flash button but already has a reset pull down system with DTR pin so I connected the DTR pin with the reset of this ESP8266 module so what I have to do is press the flash button while the resetting ok let's click the upload and see it's working or not now I am uploading it the code is compiling and it says now showing uploading and the reset is blinking while the reset blinks it need to the button pressed and while reset done release the button so after tried couple of time it's uh, uploading you can see I'm trying I'm trying to upload it uh, it is showing the underscore and dots and it is now about to flash you can see it's a blink once and and you can see it is uh, connected successful and here is the percent is going on okay now the code is uploading to the ESP8266 module now it is about to done let's wait and here is it re resetted and while I am gonna disconnect and reconnect it here is the LED inbuilt LED is blinking one second interval ok on and off so successfully uploaded the code into the module what I am trying to do is no push button no nothing directly upload to code to the ESP8266 module 
and try again you can see it is uploading and you need to press the flash button while it resetting so here you can see I am reset uh, this pressing the flash button and here it started flashing but I need a simple method there is no push button directly upload code to the ESP8266 and here is the uploading and I change the blink interval to 100 millisecond so we, I need to disconnect and reconnect it again and you can see the LED blinking 100 millisecond interval and it's working fine this uh, uh, programmer is working fine but I need a simple method so I search in internet and I found it this module is cost about uh, 750 rupees and it is a programmer of ESP8266 module it is works automatically directly to the PC no need to press buttons and all so I found it this is the PL2303 IC pinouts you can see the TXRX pin here and the DTR pin also here and one more pin you can see here the node MCU ESP 12E module uh, full diagram and I found it something interesting here you can see here the reset button and the flash button okay it works together but you don't need to press the button directly upload the code you can see this part some transistor and uh, register going to the ESP8266 from the PL2303 IC you need to the DTR pin and the reset pin to do this so here is the TTL module I modified it I uh, pulled a pin which is reset pin and the 5 volt pin I disconnected from it and I connected it to the DTR pin so here is the DTR pin and uh, here is the reset pin this is the reset pin ok these two pins are needed for auto flash ok and here is the TX pin here is the RX pin this is the GND and the 3.3 volt pin is this ok it is here 3.3 volt so how we do this this is the module here is the TX and RX is goes to directly TX and RX ok and uh, 5 volt we don't need 5 volt for this module we need 3.3 volt so we will use the 3.3 volt you can see the pin out on GPIO pins from this the TX is directly go to the RX RX is go to the TX ok and the TX is go to the RX DTR pin and reset pin we use a register which is 1 kilo ohms ok both 1 kilo ohms this will go to the base of the transistor NPN transistor ok both NPN transistor will uh, BJT transistor the number is uh, 547 ok both are NPN transistor you can use 4547 or anything ok so the register will connect it to the base of the transistor and the emitter of each will connect to the another 
base pin sorry base not the base pin to the directly DTR and reset pin and the output pin of each uh, transistor which is the collector pin will go to the reset pin and GPIO 0 pin ok GPIO 0 this is a flash pin ok so this is the circuit we need to make the circuit on the spider so let's do this here you can see I already added the transistors and the registers on this module and I connected the DTR and reset pin here ok you can see the number of the transistor is 547B and 1 kilo ohms register and also the push button but we don't use for this time so it will automatically upload the code to the ESP8266 module let's uh, connect the ESP8266 module to spider the pinout of the 8266 module are also in the description you can find it and it fits good now connect the PL2303 module to the spider and let's see how it's working so I'm not now connecting the PL2303 module and uh, it looks so good here I'm connecting to the PC now let's upload this code now it is the compiling and you can see there is now it is compiling it's still compiling now it is uploading and you can see the LED are blinking couple of time and then it is started flashing you can see the percentage is going on 35 percent now it is 41 okay it is running no any push button nothing directly uploading the code to the ESP8266 module now it is 100 percent and it's auto reset no need to disconnect no need to reconnect it auto reset and the led flashing one second interval